The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted nearly every aspect of life as we know it, including fair housing. This video, presented by Fairfax County Office of Human Rights and Equity Programs, will explain some of the fair housing issues that have emerged and help you to understand and protect your housing rights. Under the Fair Housing Act, it is illegal to discriminate against anyone on the basis of their race, color, national origin, sex, religion, family status, or disability. Since the beginning of the pandemic, stereotypes about the coronavirus have fueled discrimination against Asian Americans. It is illegal to harass a tenant or resident, terminate a lease, or refuse to rent or sell to someone based on any of these protected traits. It is also illegal for landlords to retaliate against tenants who report them for discriminating. Housing providers should not inquire about a tenant or prospect's disability and should not deny anyone housing opportunities because of stereotypes related to an individual's occupation or national origin. As information about COVID-19 continues to develop, it is important to remember that someone who has or has had COVID-19 could qualify as a person with a disability under the Fair Housing Act. The Fair Housing Act defines a person with a disability to include an individual with a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits a major life activity, a record of having such impairment, or being regarded as having such impairment. People with certain disabilities may be more vulnerable to COVID-19 while people who did not previously have a disability might develop one after contracting the disease. In either case, the person with a disability may require a reasonable accommodation in order to protect their safety and health. A reasonable accommodation allows a person with a disability to request that a housing provider change a rule, policy, practice, or service related to their disability. Examples of relevant reasonable accommodations may include early lease termination or allowing alternative methods for apartment tours, rent payment, or inspections. With the rise in unemployment during the pandemic, fair housing organizations across the country have seen an increase in reports of landlords soliciting sex from tenants who can't pay rent, or in exchange for repairs. This is known as quid quo pro sexual harassment and is illegal under the Fair Housing Act. It is also illegal for landlords to retaliate against tenants who report such misconduct. As government officials have ordered or advised their constituents to stay home as much as possible, survivors of domestic violence are put at increased risk. Reasonable accommodations to stay-at-home restrictions or other considerations may need to be made to ensure a survivor's safety. If you are a survivor of domestic or sexual violence and seeking assistance in Fairfax County, please contact the Department of Family Services, Domestic and Sexual Violence Services at 703-324-5730, TTY711, or DFSinfo at fairfaxcounty.gov. COVID-19 has caused massive unemployment, leading many cities and states to enact eviction moratoriums. The exact details of these moratoriums vary by jurisdiction, but generally prevent landlords from evicting tenants for inability to pay rent. However, the tenant may still be responsible for any missed payments later. It is important to know when and if any related future financial obligations are due and, if needed, discuss possible payment plans with the housing provider ahead of time. Some jurisdictions have also enacted rent relief measures meant to help renters stay in their homes. Landlords, frustrated that they can't legally evict tenants, may try to force them out by other means, such as turning off their utilities or threatening them, which may also violate housing law. This video was produced in conjunction with the Equal Rights Center, a national nonprofit dedicated to advancing civil rights for all. To learn more about the Equal Rights Center, visit www.equalrightscenter.org. If you have experienced any of these circumstances, please contact the Fairfax County Office of Human Rights and Equity Programs. You can reach us by phone at 703-324-2953, TTY711. For more information and resources, visit us online at www.fairfaxcounty.gov slash human rights. The work that provided the basis for this video was supported by a grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The substance of the work is dedicated to the public. The producers are solely responsible for the accuracy of the statements and interpretations contained in this video. Such interpretations do not necessarily reflect the views of the federal government. <laughs>